guess right now is going on with the status? Uh, as far as the status, right now uh, there's a BCA agent working with our investigators, our local investigators, uh, with the potential suspect, and I say potential because we're still trying to figure out exactly what happened, and working on that part of the investigation. We're waiting for the BCA crime scene team to arrive here in Northfield uh, to do the, the uh, investigation inside the house. So we also have local investigators from the Northfield Police Department and from the Cannon River Drug and Violent Offender uh, Task Force that are typing the search warrants right now and applying for search warrants so that by the time the BCA team gets here, we can uh, let them get started on evaluating the scene. Okay. And what can you tell us from this morning, kind of how things unfolded? So at about 7.50 this morning, uh, our Consolidated Dispatch Center in Boatana received a call uh, from a reporting party saying that uh, there was an intruder of some sort and that someone had been shot. The, uh, so our officers responded to that call. Uh, officers from the State Patrol, Bryce County Sheriff's Office and Dakota County Sheriff's Office also assisted our officers in responding here. And uh, once they entered the home, they found two people in the home. Uh, one was the victim, uh, an adult immediate care was given to the victim and then there was another person in the home, the reporting party. Um, that person was taken into custody at that time and uh, Northfield Hospital EMS ambulance crews along with our officers uh, gave care to the victim and eventually the victim was pronounced uh, deceased at the scene. And anything you can say about their relationship? At this time, no, I, we don't have anything solid as far as information. I don't want to speculate because it just wouldn't be fair and it might not be accurate. And tell me about um, Northfield um, shootings, homicides. Has it been a while? Um, it's It doesn't happen that often, um, thank goodness. It is kind of rare. I think our last shooting was in the summer of 2013 or 2014. Brad might be able to tell us. Um, the downtown, that was kind of a random act, um, kind of a strange one. Really, we don't have this type of activity in Northfield very often, um, but I think this is one of those circumstances where every chief in the country will tell you, you just never know, it doesn't matter if you have 200,000 or if you have 100 people living in town, you, you're just always at that couple seconds away from something happening you just don't know about. Are they both living in the home? It, it's my understanding that they were both residents of the home. Um, I don't know that I'll say anything more than that because I, I have no idea beyond that relationship or if it's landlord tenant I, what the living situation was other than it appears they were both residents of the home. And how do you want us to label this? Do we call it a shooting, a homicide? What? Well, I, I, right now it's a shooting. Um, you know, we have a deceased person. I, it's so early and because we're trying to figure out how it happened, it could be labeled as a potential homicide but that could end up changing as the investigation goes on. We just really don't have enough information right now that I, I want to say 100% either way what, what we want to label it as. It's just a potential homicide. Sure. Or, and po one, or possible homicide. Okay, possible. Um, one thing too we want to ask you about, people always get um, nervous, especially in towns where this doesn't happen. Um, for people who are maybe scared or unsure, what do you want to get out? Uh, that there is, we're not aware of any danger whatsoever to the general public. Uh, this is an isolated incident that appears to be isolated to just this residence, and um, the public should not be afraid. Uh, there's nothing that says anyone else would be in danger or was in danger even during the incident. Anything else we haven't asked? You? Do you want to get out there? And I don't know, Brad, if you have anything. Are you willing to reveal sex of the victim? No, not at this time. I just, like I said, I think I've told people, we want to be really careful. We're going to have to obviously be notifying family of uh, victim and even for the other person involved, our um, potential possible suspect that we're interviewing right now. I don't want to give out information that suddenly the family sees something on the news and they start speculating that it's their loved one because we don't even have family information yet for either one of the individuals. So. Still doing next of kin notification or haven't yeah, even started? We haven't even okay. gotten there yet. So we, we definitely need, we need, need more information before we can start notifying next of kin.
Is there any known connection between the victim and the alleged shooter? Uh, other than... A, I, not other than what I already said, that sure. they appear to both reside in the same home. Can you say, right. say and spell your name and title for me, please. Okay, uh, Monty Nelson, Chief of Police for Northfield Police Department, uh, M-O-N-T-E.